Have you been dumped and you have no idea why? Uh, do you get the feeling that, that your ex's reason for ending things was total BS? Well, I'm gonna give you the real truth about why men end relationships with women. Now, whether you're, you're here because you just got dumped and you don't know why, or because your relationship is, is on the rocks, uh, welcome. I am Brad Browning from Love Learnings TV, and I have been a relationship coach for over a decade now. And in that time, I've pinpointed the specific reasons that men typically end relationships without warning. Now, first off, um, you should know that men typically actually aren't the ones who end relationships. Or at least, women are 14% more likely to initiate a breakup than men are. So when a man does choose to, to break things off, you know, obviously it must be something pretty serious going on, right? Well, actually not necessarily. The truth is that, that men often lie about why they've, they've ended a relationship because you know, they're afraid to admit the real reason. And sometimes they do it to, to spare your feelings, uh, to avoid a big fight, or, or simply to, to leave the door open so that they can maybe sleep with you down the road. And, and when a man says, you know, I just don't feel the same way, what he really means is, I wanna sleep with other people. And when he says, you know, I'm not ready for a relationship right now, he, he often means, I don't wanna be in a relationship with you right now. Now the reason that men break up is almost never because they've you know, truly fallen out of love with you. Many men end relationships with women they love and many stay with women who they're not in love with yet. So you know, stop worrying about whether or not your boyfriend loves you and start looking for what's actually keeping you apart. So here are the top seven reasons why men end relationships, or at least the seven most common ones. Number one is loss of attraction. Now this is an extremely common reason that men break up uh, with women and it's actually quite fixable. Now what many men think of as, as a loss of attraction to their partner is really in reality a loss of excitement in the relationship. And this is caused by, by routine and by just sort of complacency and stasis. So you don't need to, to become a supermodel uh, to get your guy to stick around. All you need to do is make some small changes. You know, even something as simple as you know, dyeing your hair can engage a man's novelty center and sort of reignite the attraction again. And this is the, really the key to, to maintaining excitement and arousal in the relationship. It's really all about doing the unexpected and keeping things interesting. And you know, relationships, they do fail uh, when there's no change and there's no growth. And many men will, will choose to be single or find someone new because they don't understand how to make a, a stale relationship feel fresh again. Now, that's where you come in, obviously. Uh, you need to make the first move in, in order to spice things up and make your man see you differently. So whether this means you know, taking him on a road trip to the beach or buying new lingerie, you know, really it's up to you, but a small change can make all the difference. Want advice that's tailored to your situation? Well, just go to breakupbrad.com slash coaching right now and sign up for my one-on-one -on -one personal relationship coaching. Working with me directly gives you the best chance of changing yourself for the better and winning your ex back or saving your relationship. Again, to sign up for my coaching, go to breakupbrad.com slash coaching. Number two, he doesn't value you. Now obviously, you know, they say that you, you don't know what you've got until it's gone. And if you've always been the one pushing things forward in the relationship, moving closer to him as he moves away, uh, then there's a good chance that he's, he's been taking you for granted. And by letting him get away with anything and, and never standing up for yourself and your own needs, you're actually driving him further away. And this is because, you know, essentially men want what they can't have. So if you make yourself, you know, extremely available all the time, then winning your heart doesn't feel like an accomplishment. So he'll, he'll subconsciously see you as less valuable than other, you know, less attainable women. And you'll know that he doesn't value you if you're, if you're the always, always the one reaching out to him first. So if you, know, if you didn't text him right now, would, would you ever see him again? And of course, this is something that you should, you should try to address early on in the relationship. All it takes is, is having standards, really. Um, so just don't drop everything to, to be with him whenever he calls. Uh, and don't let him you know, booty call you late at night uh, or bail on plans at the last minute with no consequences. And believe it or not, these simple changes can make the same man go from, from pulling away to actually trying to win your heart. Number three, uh, he's scared of commitment. Men and commitment obviously can be a little bit like oil and water. Now, whether this is, is in their DNA or the result of, of social conditioning, uh, men take a lot longer to settle down than women in a relationship, typically anyways. And men who are afraid of commitment will put up walls and, and will drift away from you if you're not careful. Now, you'll know your man is afraid of commitment if he never talks about the future, uh, if he won't, won't say much about his, his romantic past, uh, and if he's in his 20s, to be honest. Now, studies have shown that, that men get late, married later in life than women, uh, typically, and the age that men actually want to settle down keeps getting higher and higher as time goes on. So if you're more than five years younger than your man, uh, then this is a good sign, of course, that he's not ready 
for a serious commitment at this point in his life. Men start to date younger women when women their age, you know, sort of start to want to get more serious. Number four, he's insecure. Dealing with male clients, you know, I've found that, that one of the reasons that they end relationships stems from their own personal insecurity. Now, men don't want to admit it, but one of the big things that they get out of a relationship is validation. You know, they really want to feel like they're wanted, needed, and valuable to you. And not only that, but they also want to feel like they're, they're enough for you. And deep down, every man wants to feel like, you know, he's your knight in shining armor. Now, there's certain things that women often do that make men feel like they, they aren't living up to expectations. Uh, and suddenly, you know, instead of pumping them up, your relationship is starting to bring them down. Now, these, these feelings come to the forefront, you know, whenever you complain, uh, nag, or, or try to change him. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have high standards, you know, but don't turn every one of his shortcomings into a fight. You know, prolonged fights about the, the same issue, they make men defensive, and they're going to drive him away. So instead, you know, take a little bit of a different approach. Uh, the saying, you know, pick your battles, that's actually really good advice here. So, you know, don't strike back in anger or, or come at him with aggressive criticism. Instead, you know, come into to conflict with the mindset of trying to understand, you know, his side of things. And honestly, chances are you'll probably most of the time be able to work things out. Number five, you're too jealous. Now, guys, I mean, jealousy is natural in any relationship, uh, but don't make it your partner's problem. So if he's actually, you know, exhibiting behavior that makes you worry that he might be cheating on you, then of course, you know, you, that needs to be addressed. But I find that, that jealousy is often unfounded. Letting your jealousy control your words and actions can make you look possessive, uh, irrational, and insecure. And of course, it's only going to undermine uh, your, your opinion in other situations, and it can make your boyfriend feel like, you know, you don't trust him. I've had a lot of male clients tell me that they were driven to cheating by a jealous partner. You know, their feeling was, if I'm going to be blamed for everything anyway, well, I might as well cheat. You know, save your ire uh, for the real cheaters and focus your energy elsewhere and do what you can to keep those, those feelings in check. Number six, you're dramatic. An extremely high stakes, high drama relationship can, can often cause men to, to withdraw and to end things. You know, many people shy away from drama, uh, but men especially, you know, they may be willing to, to look past some drama or, you know, or maybe even find it sexy and exciting early on in the relationship. But for most men, that excitement is going to fade into resentment and anxiety, you know, if, the, if that kind of behavior continues in the long run. And what do I mean exactly by, by drama? Well, I'm talking about, you know, uh, sudden changes in mood, uh, confrontations, ultimatums, or really sort of any extreme, unpredictable behavior on your part. And even if they're not the target of your anger, uh, the high stakes way that you live your life can, can become tiresome and will really make uh, your ex or your, your partner take your real concerns less seriously. Now, men, of course, love to be needed, uh, but they don't want to feel like they have to, to solve all of your problems or face a tantrum. Number seven, sexual problems. So in a recent breakup survey I conducted, I found that sexual problems came up again and again as a source of tension and, and a cause of breakups, especially for men. Now, a good sex life is vitally important to a healthy relationship. So whether it's you or your boyfriend that's unsatisfied in the bedroom, this can lead to, to feelings of resentment and unworthiness. But the good news is, uh, that improving your sex life can be fun and exciting. So, you know, communicate with your partner about your wants and needs. So rather than saying, um, you never do foreplay anymore, instead say, you know, I want you to do blank to me in the heat of the moment. And that turns, you know, a complaint into more of a sexy suggestion. And of course, boosting your, your boyfriend's self-esteem in the bedroom is, is also often enough to, to make the both of you feel more connected to one another. So instead of focusing on, you know, what you don't like in bed, Focus on what you do like. Use specific compliments to, to build him up and he'll be a likely a lot more receptive uh, when it comes to what you want and more willing to, to change his behaviors in general. And if the problem is that your sex drive is lower than his, uh, then try getting him off you know, in less traditional ways. It's not all about having more sex, uh, but often just more varied sex. So you, know, you wanna give him something uh, to think about while he's lying in bed at night. Uh, and one night, wild night a week, you know, is, is, is often better than seven boring or routine ones. So now that you know why men end relationships, what should you do? It's important to try and pinpoint the reason why your boyfriend dumped you, but simply addressing the issue is rarely the path to getting back together. You really need to know what went wrong so it doesn't happen again, uh, but the real way to get him back is about making him want you again. Now this can't be done with, with begging, pleading, or promising to change. It can only be done by staying away from him for at least a month in what I call the no contact period. And if you have seen some of my other videos, then you know all about no contact already. Now this works especially well if the reason for your breakup is unclear. If you stay in contact while breaking up, then you know you're actually giving him the emotional support that he needs to get over you. 
If you cut him off cold turkey, on the other hand, he'll feel your absence like a great big hole in his heart. And suddenly his, his reasons for ending things will start to look pretty small uh, next to how much he's actually missing you. And if you're still not sure what went wrong with the relationship, just go to breakupbrad.com quiz where you can take my highly accurate quiz tool, which will give you a good sense of what's going on in your relationship or with your ex. And it's also going to give you some very specific advice on what to do uh, to get him back and make sure that he stays with you in the long haul. It's breakupbrad.com slash quiz. It takes five minutes. It's completely free. All right, thanks guys for watching another episode of Love Learnings TV here. Uh, please do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to the channel here for my latest and greatest videos about dating, relationships, and breakups. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.